Hello everyone, Zero Fossil Fuel and this is your Zero News Update for Sunday, April 3rd, 2011. Quite a few of you have been writing me to uh, ask what I've been up to over the winter and of course <laughs> if you've seen any of my videos you know it's been a particularly tough winter so most of my activities have been uh, indoors. So I've taken some time this uh, this year and gotten back into uh, an enjoyable hobby of amateur radio operating. Uh, in the picture here you see my Kenwood TS-140S transceiver, rig blaster data interface, and a homebrew uh, CW keyer that I built over the winter. Here is my SWR meter and my antenna tuner, which I really don't need because I find that my antenna is very well tuned. And uh, here's a quick shot of the interior of the CW keyer that I made and uh, even a set of CW paddles, iambic paddles for the CW keyer made in almost entirely out of acrylic. So it was great fun building that. Uh, it looks really cool. I might even go a little bit ghetto with it and uh, put some LED illumination to make it glow, but uh, I've, I've held back trying to doing that, but um, I did help sharpen my skills with working with acrylic because I do have a few projects coming up that I'm going to need to use acrylic. This right here is a photograph of a set of toroidal ballon transformers that were used in the antenna that I erected for my amateur radio station this year. And this is the completed ballon that hangs in the trees and a shot of the uh, installed ballon with the inverted V dipole antenna. Uh, had really great fun with this, this over the winter. Uh, I've worked uh, stations all over Europe, South Africa, South America, uh, mid-United States, Canada. Um, been working them on single sideband and CW. So great fun, uh, really enjoyed it, and uh, now it's time to move on. Getting ready to start the garden again this year, and I hope to... Uh, employ what I've learned from the uh, failures that I've had last year to hopefully have a much more successful garden this year. Um, one of the things that I will be employing is drip irrigation as opposed to a sprinkler head and uh, I may even enclose it with a small greenhouse uh, and perhaps even some hydroponics. We'll see how that how that goes. It all depends on what I have time for. On a similar note, we've been consuming a lot less meat in this household. Two of the women in our house are, are now full vegetarians, uh, and one daughter and myself are still somewhat car carnivorous, but uh, we, we have been eating a lot less meat. And in that vein, uh, we've also been consuming a lot less dairy products. Um, there's always a concern in my mind about the use of genetically modified organisms, or GMOs, and uh, one, of the, one of the products that my girls were using was uh, soy milk. And knowing that a lot of soybean is genetically modified, in fact, most of the soybean crop is genetically modified, I was uh, actually more comfortable with using a product called Blue Diamond uh, Almond Milk. And uh, that had no soybean in it at all. Um, the girls prefer the soy milk, and uh, I just happened to open up my refrigerator door the other day and notice this label on the package of soy milk which made me feel a whole lot better. It specifically states that it is made from non-GMO soybean products grown in the United States. So I would like you food producers to be on notice that I will in the future be looking for this label on all of my products. I do not trust GMO crops for personal consumption. Be sensitive to the fact that I as a consumer specifically do not want GMO. In alternative energy news, Future Energy Concepts, which used to have a uh, YouTube channel, disappeared. They're gone. And uh, for a little bit of in-depth commentary, what I have to say is, hmm. 
they got about as far as producing a uh, truck with a really fancy paint job and uh, now they're gone what a surprise April 15th through the 17th is this year's 2011 HHO games uh, they have selected a new location I guess uh, they were unable to fit in the previous location so they're expanding um, if you'd like more information please go to hhogames.com unfortunately I will not be presenting this year uh, Joe had asked me if I might do a presentation but uh, unfortunately things did not work out I have other other plans and um, I will be vacationing shortly and hanging out with Hydrogen User and Smart Scarecrow and uh, another family friend of uh, Hydrogen User in an undisclosed location for a great deal of fun. So should be should be a lot of fun and that's about as far south as I'm going to get this year. The next project car is uh, my latest acquisition, a 2006 Hyundai Elantra. It, uh, it is something more current, has OBD2 diagnostics, so hopefully I will be able to employ some of the more advanced techniques with the application of HHO on this vehicle. I will be using the bat cell. Uh, Larry Newell from Alaska was kind enough to blast, all, media blast, all of my stainless steel plates, and I'll be reassembling this cell. Unfortunately, the uh, case that I built for the first cell is a six compartment case. It was very tight dimensions and the the rebuild of the cell is going to contain seven chambers instead of six and uh, it will use three-eighths inch stainless steel rod to uh, act as a bus bar in between the chambers instead of quarter inch due to the high uh, resistance of stainless steel and poor conductivity so I'm going to go as thick as I can on the stainless steel bus bar to get uh, as high an efficiency as I possibly can out of this cell. I'm really pushing the limits this time. Uh, I will also be employing a slightly different technique with stacking the plates. I'm not going to use the nylon cable ties this time around. I did find that over time they, they loosened and expanded and the plates actually ended up uh, getting a little bit sloppy inside, inside the chamber. So I'll be actually using um, nylon cord for a weed whacker, 65 thousandths, or, or something uh, I along that line, and trying to stay away from using the Goop Marine adhesive altogether. In conjunction with the bat cell, I will be utilizing the Square One Energy Hydromax servo integrated controller system that they just sent me a brand new version of. Apparently, it has. Uh, uh, revised firmware in the servo integrated controller and a revised software package so I'm very anxious to put all of that together and and see how well that works as well and of course for those of you who don't have quite such deep pockets for the uh, square one servo integrated controller system uh, I will be producing more of the zero fossil fuel constant current pulse with modulators uh, with the rising gas prices, of course, a lot of you have been asking about these as well. So I promise these will be available again. They will not cost as much as they used to. I will be dropping the price, and there will be only one flavor, just the high-powered version, two MOSFET, um, hopefully bulletproof. So those will be available again. So that's all for now. Zero Fossil Fuel. Uh, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I hope that you will. Please subscribe to my Twitter feed because I do use Twitter to send out uh, important announcements with product releases and experiments that I'm doing in the lab, things of that nature. Um, hope you're all well. Hope you have a great spring. Peace, everyone.